Um, hi everybody, uh, I am Brandon Anderson. Uh, <laughs> resident bad boy of Shutterbox Live. <laughs> um, <laughs> in, uh, in 2001, I graduated from Xavier University in Cincinnati uh, with a degree in public relations and a minor in theater. And in order to put myself through school, I, uh, I worked a lot uh, in, in work study in the theater program. I was a tech, I did lights and sound, helped run shows, and, and, and even acted in a few. And spent more time in the theater than I ever did at interning at a PR firm or anything like that. So um, after I graduated, you know, that summer, uh, the day before I was going to uh, put in an application uh, for a manager at Banana Republic, um, <laughs> I went down to the Hyatt downtown and auditioned for Shadowbox Cabaret, who was, uh, and they were opening up a theater in Newport, Kentucky, right across the river. Uh, and I auditioned for all these, you know, producers and directors, and I saw this big dude with long gray hair. I was like, oh, that's the rich white dude with all the money. That's nice. They let him, they let him come to the auditions. And... <laughs> feel like a rock star. That's real cool. Uh, but in fact, he was uh, the leader of this, this tribe. This family. Uh, he was the chief. Uh, and I was a part of what we, what I think is our second generation uh, at Shadowbox, uh, a group of actors coming in to, to further, the, uh, further the, the mission and the growth of the company. And once you get, into the, uh, you get into the throes of it, you realize that one of the things you definitely don't want to be doing is singing the chief's song that he sang before. Um, and uh, we auditioned the show down in Newport, and I got cast uh, for this rock song, and it was by this band I really loved, and uh, it was it was awesome, and I'm so excited because I was gonna sing a real rock song. I wasn't gonna like have to pretend to be Chef from South Park or do a comedy sketch or something like that. Like I was gonna be a rock star, yeah. Um, and then somebody told me, oh yeah, that's a great tune. Steve fucking kills that song. <laughs> I got real nervous, you know, so I, I, I auditioned, you know, I worked with our vocal coaches, New Orleans, I mean, everybody, they, they got me ready for, for rehearsal, and then Tech Week came, and Steve, come, Steve and the team come down to Sensi, and, uh, and we, do, um, we do the tech rehearsal. And so uh, we go through each piece uh, during a tech rehearsal, and at the end of it, you know, the team approaches you and you get notes. Sometimes the things are great, you know, you do your song, and you want to hear the, great, let's move on, awesome, or you want to hear the more coveted, Yeah, I'm talking about. That is, that's, that's that just quiet, like, you know, it's like, well, real awesome. That's what the crowd would do. Hey, awesome. So I go and I do my thing, right? And I'm, I'm done with it. I'm done with the, with the song. And then Steve comes up. Okay, cool. So Steve comes up and he goes, we're going to work on this together tomorrow. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. That meant, to me, that meant I was about to get cut and he just wanted to tell me in a nice way. <laughs> And, you know, I never had this uh, a one-on-one -on -one with Steve before, not, you know, not at all. And, uh, you know, I've heard people have these awesome life-changing conversations with them, you know. So I, uh, I get to rehearsal, and I get to our rehearsal space. Uh, for those of you in Newport, it was the electrical closet, of course. Um, <laughs> we always use fancy terms. Really, we just do wherever the fuck we could, you know. It was right by the, by the heating ducts. And um, so Steve says, we're going to go through this line by line. We want this song line by line because you have to know what you're singing. You have to know what it means to you so that the audience can, can feel it too. You have to get the message of this song across. So we're going to go line by line. And we did. And we talked about what the intent was and Steve knew everything about the song and the artist and he knew the story of, 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 the, of the performers and he just he knew it. Um, and it's, it's something that I do to this day. You know, I, I, I research live performance of a song I'm casting, and I research the song and know what it's all about. Um, because it meant so much to be able to share everything that the artist wanted you to hear. <laughs> uh, that, that, that is one of the greatest lessons I've learned, to take things line by line, to take life line by line. <laughs> Uh, because um, it's made me a better performer, it's made me a better man, um, and it makes me attack the world with the bravery that I never knew uh, I had. You know, I, I forget that I came here as a shy and timid and afraid kid. Um, and so I pretended to be a rock star until I was. Um, 
Grab it line by line, grab it by the nuts, and kick its ass. Yeah. 